Hey, Barstow Junior. I wanted to make a um, infinite canvas tutorial that was helpful for new teachers or those of us who forgot how to set up a grade book or just for myself who needs to remember how to set up a grade book. Firstly, I loved our new um, little attendance menu here. That made me super happy, so there's that. But we're going to be taking a look at this grade book tab, right? In infinite campus that comes up on your left hand side and in there we're going to check a couple things first let's get our semester correct check the class period that you're aiming for and then of course like we want to put that in at least quarter grade report sometimes this opens it for semester one two feels like this looks weird to me but at least the grade report so that way it goes through progress reports um, you can grade in any of these little windows and then like adjust it it just makes extra steps later so uh, and then to get a grade book started First, we're gonna come up into this settings. Okay, and we see we have all of this stuff going on. Um, pretty much to get a grade book sort of started, we go into this grading calc options first, and we have to kind of set up a grading scale. So that way it knows, you know, this percentage is an A and this percentage is a B, et etc. et cetera. Um, And there's some stock ones that come up. So when are we gonna use these? Semester one for the grade report and the progress report. And we want it to calculate our in-progress grade. And then it's going to give us this thing that says grading scale. So grading scale, we have these options and you can, I think, click through and see like what they all mean. I usually do like a standard scale since we can do like a weighted. You can also go in, make categories, unweight those. I don't want to include all of that in a video because not everybody uses that. So real just sort of basic. I usually just do standard scale. That kind of does our regular, um, you know, A's are in the 90s, B's are in the 80s, C's are in the 70s type thing. And then I'll do that for this one as well. So that way these classes are calculating an in-progress grade. Okay, and we go ahead and hit save. That's gonna sort of activate this extra column. We see this column just popped up, this in-progress column. So now if we were to create an assignment and punch it in, there's gonna be something that calculates and we can see actually the grading scale here. So when I hover over it, we see this um, these percentages. If I was to adjust that, so let's pick a different weighted scale maybe. Here, I'll go here. We were going to like weighted, for example, when we hover over, we'll see these adjusted just a smidge. So those are like sort of preset ones. You can also take the time to make your own, but um, again, leaving that up to you. Okay, switch this back. Uh, now that we have sort of, so now it's gonna do a grade calculation option. Then we wanna actually create, uh, we need to create categories. And it's gonna ask for categories first. Uh, if you were to just try to make an assignment with this little add button at the top, it would be like, hey, you haven't made a category yet. So. I'm gonna go in and make a category. And we're gonna go ahead and come down here where it says add. And you can pick the sections that are gonna receive this category. So let's just call it, um, part. If I could spell. Yeah. Uh, class participation. And let's go ahead and say we're gonna drop that on every single class that I teach. Um, if we're going to do something like that, let's say it was like written assignments or, you know, bell works or whatever category you want to create, you can type that into there. You can pick which classes it applies to. Maybe it only applies to one of your subjects and not another one, or it applies to all your classes. You can choose a weight for that category as well so that those, um, you know, maybe you want that to be a more, a more significant portion of their grade. It is what it is. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. And close. So I've only made one category for an assignment. It's okay. I'm just making that so I can show you. So there's a category that exists. We set up a grading scale for this class. Now if I'm going to create an assignment. So we're going to come to this little add button that's at the top. And then we brought to this menu. So this is where we actually type in what our assignment is. So I'm going to go through this real quick and then that's the end of this video. Sorry if it's a little long. It's like five minutes or so. Um, create a title. So let's say this is week one. See, I do this week participation, but I'm gonna change my, my dates. So what is this? Eight, nine, or what is Friday? 13, there we go. Um, you can put a description of what your assignment is. If you do this on Google Classroom and you put instructions, it actually will automatically copy these into there, and that's a different video, but I can show you how to do that too. Um, you do put a, do you want it to be visible to the kids yet or not? And a start date and an end date. So when is this actually gonna be due? You know, make it look like it's due this Friday. And it's actually gonna go from here to here, right? It's when the week of that would be. Um, it applies to all students. It's gonna have an abbreviation for us. So we're gonna do, this is like, it gave me one pre-automated, but you can also make it whatever you would like. 
here's why we needed a category. We would choose class participation if that's what it was under, if it was under written assignments or whatever, right? And then the task that it applies to. So it's gonna go to the quarter one grading category and then how many points it's worth, right? I'm probably not gonna make this worth 100 points, maybe make it worth 50. If you want it to be worth more with a multiplier, you can do that too. We made it worth 50. And then we have this button down here and it says other sections and schedules. So if all my classes are gonna do the same assignment, um, we can actually just come in and be like, oh, you know, choir is going to have participation. Great. Intermediate band? Yes. My other period of marching band? Yes. Video? Sure. SEL? Why not? Right. And so then we can actually now every single one of those is going to get the same exact copy of an assignment. So I just dropped an assignment in every single class's gradebook. Um, now, if I went in, let's say I go into choir real quick, I'll show you. Close. If I go into choir, even though I made an assignment, so that assignment will pop up under choir. It's not going to calculate a grade. So if I was to punch in 50 points for this student right here at the top, it's not going to actually punch in a grade until I go into settings and set up uh, grade calc options. But at least that sort of gets your grade book started.